If your booster comes with a desktop antenna, then installation is a snap. All you have to do is place it on a desk or some other flat surface. The signal comes out of this side in this direction, so place this facing into the room or where you want the signal to be. If your signal booster comes with a panel antenna, then you've got different options available to you. You can mount it on a wall, hide it behind a bookcase or a piece of furniture, or even place it inside of a wall. You can also install the panel antenna in the ceiling facing down. The panel antenna broadcasts the signal at about a 70 degree angle, so keep that in mind if you're mounting it in this way. Whichever way you decide to mount the panel antenna, the installation is the same. Attach the included bracket securely to the wall using the drywall anchors, or if you're going into wood, just use screws. Then simply slide the antenna onto the bracket. Attach the cable to the antenna and run the cable to where you're installing the booster. You can also paint the antenna if you want it to match your wall color and blend in with your decor. Before we move on, I want to talk about antenna separation. The antenna separation or distance between the antennas is very important when setting up your signal booster. The best scenario is to mount your inside antenna directly below your outside antenna and facing in the opposite direction. We recommend 20 feet of separation here. If this setup isn't possible, you can install them facing in opposite directions with 50 feet of separation between the two. Now we're ready to install the booster. Click here when you're ready to move on to the next step.